2K Sports pregame show. And welcome to the NBA Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Game one is upon us, and this looks like it will be a fantastic series. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics playing against the Charlotte Hornets. Checking out the Hornets, they've appeared to be invincible thus far in the playoffs, having yet to lose a single game. We'll see if they can continue that winning streak tonight. Here we go. Conference Finals. Four teams left. Shaq, what can a lower seed do to try and pull an upset? You can't take any plays off. What you may lack in talent, you have to make up for. Agreed. In hustle. Agreed. Agreed. Ex execution is critical as well. You can't give away anything, Ernie. Like, this is a part of the time. When you're in the conference finals, like, everything is a big shot. And the end of quarters and the end of games are important. All right. Now with the tip coming up shortly. Time to send it to Kevin Harlan. Been waiting all day for this. Take it yes, away, Kevin. Have. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Boston Celtics were able to move on after a six-game battle in round two. They now have a new adversary in the Conference Finals as they tip off tonight against the Charlotte Hornets. The Eastern Conference Finals coming up next. Center here in downtown Charlotte. And the Charlotte crowd is on their feet for these two teams. Two rounds down, two to go. The battle for the Eastern Conference continues. Game one of the conference finals. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. We'll be catching up in a bit from our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. Taking a look at Charlotte, they are a team that certainly got to feel pretty confident right now, having swept their last series. And, and while I expect them to win this game and potentially win big, this is a team that really plays well on their home floor. And if they do that, they can really set the tone for this series. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Hayward out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Smart, and it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Horford at the center position. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Here's the Beast. And the layup's good off the glass. And where's the help? Obviously a missed rotation, something they're going to want to patch up. Right, because otherwise you're going to give up those close-range opportunities all night. If you allow the opposition to get into a groove, look out. Here's Tatum after the made shot from the Beast. Tatum setting the pick for Hayward. It's not going to go for him. And Charlotte will come the other way. Hayward against Batum. Here's the Beast. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. They set the pick. Picked by Horford. Irving kicks to Hayward. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrin. Well, Brad Stevens and I got a chance to talk for a bit. And we talked about the importance of stealing one on the road. The coach told me they want to come out, push pace, and set the tone early. He said if we can find a way to take this first game, it gives us a lot of confidence. And if they do, Kevin, just like that, they'd have home court advantage in this series. Back to you. 
Thank you, David. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Irving kicks to Tatum. Passes to Smart. It's blocked. Another shot. It's rebounded by the Beast. One for four right now. A little sluggish coming out of the gate. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Now here's Tatum. Here's Irving. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Walker with a clean look. Knocks down the three ball. Walker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And now the first timeout call here for Boston. Yeah, you can't let this kind of run continue. Really need to go back to the basics. No, exactly. I think it's it's impossible to let this momentum continue. Let's see what they can come up with in the timeout. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. And you look at the Beast leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Kemba Walker just behind him. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. A blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply misfired. I mean, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. That one drops for him. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Pick by Horford. Tatum passes to Hayward. Tatum setting the pick for Hayward. Tries to snap the cold streak. He squares up and sinks it. Hayward's got his first basket of the night. Now don't you love how Gordon Hayward moves so well without the ball? He creates scoring opportunities for himself. The pass to the Beast. Using his post move to get the two points. The Beast's got 10. Boy, what has gotten into him? He's taken his game to an unreal level this quarter. They set the screen. Tatum kicks to Irving. Sinks the triple. Irving's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. As soon as Kyrie Irving crosses half court, you have got to guard him. And you've got to be balanced because this guy is an effective, dominant offensive presence. Here's the beast. Ten points for him. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Hornets shooting their first free throws of this. And he knocks down the first one. Second free throw, no good. Celtics trail by six. Smart goes in. The kick out to Irving. But they get it back. Hayward passes to Irving. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pick by Horford. Pass to Hayward. They set the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts up a three, trains the three-pointer. He has five. Well, this is why it's important that Gordon Hayward continue to space the floor. When he's hitting from distance, boy, it unlocks every aspect of his game. Here's the beast. Lays it up off the glass. Well, I'll tell you, he's been a go-to guy for them as they've taken this lead, and he keeps coming. with it. You're smart. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Well, you know Marcus Smart understands how to use his body inside, and I just love how he goes right up with the shot. Walker against Irving. A rebound by the Celtics. That's a floater go, and it's what? And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Some changes for Charlotte. Zeller comes in for Williams. And it's Lamb in there for Monk. Celtics also with a sub. Brown's checked in. Here's Hayward. 
No good on that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. To the middle. And stolen by Tatum. Shot from 16. And the jumper is on the mark. That's seven points for Gordon Hayward. This is one of Hayward's go-to shots. Phenomenal at getting the space he needs. Here's the Beast, guarded by Horford. The shot's good from the Beast. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. Down kicks to Horford. Irving against Walker. Brown wide open. He fired. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Brown's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. Here's the Beast. 15 points in the game. Pass to Lamb. Zeller setting the pick for Lamb. Here's the Beast, and he banks in the layup. The Beast's got 17 now. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Brown, the pass to Horford. The screen from Brown. Tatum wide open. He fires one. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's the beast. He's got 17. Zeller trying to free himself up. And again it will go. Basket is good from the Beast. And when you got someone putting on a show like this, I mean, in the first quarter, you have got to be kidding. Free throw line jump shot. Irving can't hit. Charlotte in the lead. Here's the Beast, covered by Irving. The Beast, wow, that makes him a perfect 10 for 10, double-digit perfection. Boy, he has exploded. You couldn't ask for a better quarter from a guy. Tatum with it, and Zeller picks him up defensively. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Kid Gilchrist will check in for Charlotte. Parker comes in for Walker. And a new group in for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Horford. Marcus Morris comes in for Tatum. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Irving. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Here's the Beast, and the layup's good off the glass. The Beast's got 23. And he's caught fire this quarter, yet to miss a shot. Celtics trail by three. To the paint, and Brown throws it down hard. And you gotta love Brown's shot selection. He's definitely capable of draining these types of shots consistently. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Hammock. Now here's Kid Gilchrist. Here's the beast, and he uses the glass on the layup. He's got 25. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Rogier kicks to Tice. To the middle, Parker with the steal. Now the fast break, Lamb with the ball. And it's good on the assist by Parker. And it's a five-point Charlotte lead. Yeah, the assist by Parker, just brilliant. Really seeing his teammates out there. Ogier, the pass to Brock. Zeller against Forbes. Launches a three, hands it from downtown. I'll tell you, that's nice work, right? You move, you get into space on the perimeter, and you knock down the three. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Hit by Zeller. Here's the beast. That one falls. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Kid Gilchrist against Brown. Shot is good. Brown's got seven points. 
Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. We've got more in store for you right after this. was born in the Dominican Republic and he talked about why he gravitated towards basketball instead of baseball. Coming from a place where, you know, baseball. Wanted to follow in his rules. A whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Al Horford is checked in for Daniel Tice. Tatum comes in for Marcus Morris. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Brown. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Rozier. Hornets trail by five. Walker and Monk are the guard tandem. Harvey Williams is out there with the Beast, and it's Batum in at the three spot. So that's the Hornets five. The shot's good from the Beast. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Picked by Horford. Irving with it. He's picked up by Walker. On its way from Hayward for two. Can't make good off the pick. Charlotte's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. The beast in the last matchup against the Bucks was tremendous. He ended up with 65 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. David, appreciate the report. He was a one-man show in that game. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much that took out of him. I mean, he'll have a hard time putting up anything even close to those numbers here tonight. Well, you do wonder, though, Greg, does he still have some of the adrenaline going from that performance? No matter how tired he is, he should have plenty of energy coming off that. Shot clock at three. Here's Tatum. It's rebounded by Charlotte. The Beast's got his third rebound on the night. Monk. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Monk's got five points in the quarter. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. Picked by Horford. The three from Tatum. It's rebounded by the Beast. The Beast's got his fourth rebound in this one. The shot no good, a bit short. Now, great look on that, just a little out of rhythm. Yeah, he looked like he forced that a little bit. Just needs to take his time, better make these shots right now. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Jalen Brown's checked in for Kyle Corbin. <laughs> Hayward against Batum. Horford with a screen on Zeller. Here's Tatum. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Well, it's been an up-and-down quarter for him on the offensive end. Mostly down, though. The Beast passes to Monk. Here's the Beast. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. For Charlotte, they had missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. No free throws. Good from the Beast. Celtics trail by five. The guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. But Greg, no resistance, right? They're allowing them to get any kind of shot they want close. That simply can't happen. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. And you look at the Beast, no doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. Charlotte on D, leading by five. Inside, Horford uses the glass to finish the layup. Horford's got five points so far. 
Well, you can tell there's a team first mentality with the young gun Jason Tatum working to find the open teammate. Nice. And the officials call a traveling violation. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Celtics trail by three. Now, here is Irving. He's got five. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. What a difference in the second quarter. His shooting, much more confidence, much more accuracy. And Walker kicks to Monk. Passes it to the Beast. Hit by Zeller. Here's the Beast, guarded by Horford. The shot's good from the Beast. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Irving against Walker. Irving passes to Tatum. There's a good screen. Shot clock at five. And here's Brown outside. The long distance three is buried. Brown's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. Charlotte's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Batum wide open. He fights. And it's the Hornets another three. Now really found his stroke here in the second quarter after missing everything in the first. Brown outside. Hayward is screen on Zell. Here's Tatum. Drills the elbow jumper. Tatum's got his second bucket tonight. This guy is skilled at getting the shot he wants inside. Jason Tatum with the size and touch to be efficient. The pass to the beast. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. For Charlotte, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Austin trailing. Outside Irving. Down down low. Over Monk. And it's Brown missing. You know, he's working on his inside game, but clearly there's still a little more work to do. Here's the Beast. Makes it off the glass. The Beast's got nine points now in the quarter. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. with it. Now guarded by Monk. Horford dishes to Irving. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. I'll tell you, what a start in the first quarter, and now he's taking it to a new level here in the second. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. For Charlotte, they have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. And just doing a much better job of getting to the line this quarter than he did in the first. From deep three-point range, right back after this break. Welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. What can you say? The Beast, an impressive effort here today. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. On the floor for Boston. They've got Smart. Hayward out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Horford. And it's Irving in at the point guard. Picked by Horford. In the corner, it's Hayward. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Charlotte leading by three. Walker the pass to the Beast. And stolen by Hayward. And now running up the court, Hayward's pushing it up. And the dunk by Horford. 
Well, you can see how dialed in Gordon Hayward can be. When he's on his game, the vision is exceptional. Charlotte's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Pass to the beast. At the elbow, Williams. And Horford pulls it down. Celtic shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Irving against Walker. And that's a foul called on the Beast. That is his first foul of the game. Outside, Smart. Picked by Horford. Smart kicks to Horford. Six on the shot clock. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. I think one of the things organizations appreciate about Al Horford is how he is a two-way player. He's always going to give his best effort. What a pro this guy is. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there. But he does tie it up. They set the screen. The shot's good from the Beast. The Beast's got 42 in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Picked by Horford. Now, here is Irving. D right on him. Off target at the rim. Batum attacking. Good. Now it's a four-point Charlotte lead. Really like the energy I'm seeing from this offense. Three for four to open the third. Irving passes to Horford. Back to Irving. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Irving's got 11. The cleverness, the fearlessness. Kyrie Irving outstanding at finding spots inside to capitalize from. The kick out to Walker. Here's the Beast, guarded by Horford. Monk, the best to the Beast. Charlotte moving it around. The shot's good. And that's now seven points for Malik Monk. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. They set the pick. Here's Smart. And again, Boston with the triple. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. Passes it to the Beast. Outside, Batum. The pass to the Beast. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Horford. Boston's gone 2 of 2 from long range in the third quarter so far. That gives them the lead. Tatum's got his third bucket of the night. Just tremendous confidence from Jason Tatum. This guy understands I am a scorer even at the most elite level. Charlotte calls timeout. Some changes for Charlotte. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Williams. Kid Gilchrist comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Parker subbed in for Monk. The Celtics also changing it up. Daniel Tice is checked in for Jason Tatum. Marcus Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Rozier in for Kyrie Irving. Now that's about amazing quickness. How about Marcus Smart's ability to beat everybody up the floor with that burst? Here's the beast. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. The fourth spot held by Kemba Walker. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, smart. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You know what I love, Kevin, is, is Marcus Smart just continues. And a 
foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And the first one drops. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams has checked in. Both free throws good from the Beast. Austin's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Rozier kicks to Brown. Picked by Horford. Brown right side. Off target on the 15-footer. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Kick out to Walker. Picked by Zeller. The Bees passes to Walker. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Celtics shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Cody Zeller. Well, you have to appreciate the fundamentals that Gordon Hayward possesses. This guy is a tremendous shooter. He's an aggressive rebounder, smart passer, playmaker. What can he do, guys? And the Hornets making a change here. But Toombs checked in. Then for the Celtics, Tatum comes in for Marcus Morris. And Irving subbed in for Rozier. Irving dishes to Horford. Here's the screen. Outside Tatum. Just five on the clock. Over Williams. Boston again missing defensively and they actually get away with it bad idea to leave him open consistently though pass to the beast hit by Zeller and there's the call on Gordon Hayward that's foul number two for him Monks checked in for Zeller here's the beast lays it up and banks it in the beast's got 48 Guys, what a back-and-forth game this has been. And that's already resulted in seven lead changes. Irving kicks to Tatum. Kick by Horford. Tatum passes to Irving. Jumper off the screen. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Now Kyrie has so many options when he runs the pick-and-roll. He runs it to perfection. Pass to Batum. The beast up off the screen, and that's two points on the layup. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. We come back right after this. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. One thing we can't do is have empty possessions where we're shooting it before or we're turning it over before we can set our defense, okay? Well, Greg, he's all about wanting them to take smart shots. You have 24 seconds to play with, plenty of time, no sense taking a bad shot and risking getting burned in transition. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the court for the Hornets. Monk is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Batum. Then it's Marvin Williams. And it's the Beast. And it's the center locking down the middle. And good! There's another. And he's up to... Austin trailing. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Boston. Irving at point with Brown to his side. There at the backcourt. Horford is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Hayward in at the small forward position. Here's Lamb following the basket by Al Horford. Monk the pass to the beast. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's foul number two for him. 
a few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. There's a screen by Williams. Off the pick. And laying it up and in the basket from the Beast. The Beast's got 54 points. The Celtics have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Irving kicks to Hayward. The pass to Brock. Picked by Horford. Here's Hayward. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. And the Celtics lead by one. Charlotte shooting an unbelievable 70%. You won't see a performance like this too often. Monk, the pass to the Beast. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's the Beast. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. The Beast's got 56 points in the game. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might be overturned in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Now, here's Hayward. Back to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Horford. Shot on the wing. They get it back. Here's Hayward. From down in the low post, it goes. Hayward's got nine points now in just the second half. This is it to Monk. Williams has a screen for Monk. Here's the Beast, guarded by Horford. And good that time. The Beast's got 58. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong. To the win. There's a screen. Irving kicks to Hayward. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. He's reason number one there in front. I mean, his shooting has been almost flawless. For Charlotte, they've gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. The Beast passes to Lamb. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And so far, this has got that feel of a game that could be back and forth all the way. Yeah, at some point, though, you might expect one team to go on a run, but this could come down to the wire. Now, here's Tatum. Here's Hayward, and there are the Celtics with another basket. Six foot eight, Hayward has the size needed to score inside, and he uses it to his advantage. Outside, Batum. Pass to the beast. He got it again. Sensational. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Picked by Horford. Irving up top, covered by Lamb. Horford sets a screen for Tatum, off the screen. It's rebounded by Charlotte. The Beast's got rebound number eight now on the night. Another bucket. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Irving dishes to Hayward. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut back down to one point on the basket from Kyrie Irving. And that's the part of Horford's game that doesn't garner much attention. Great at setting screens to spring open his team. Here's the beast. And he banks in the lane. Talk about clutch. He has been on fire. Celtics have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Putting some solid looks for them. Irving kicks to Hayward. Horford with a screen on Batum. Irving. It's tipped. Outside Batum. Here's Lamb. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision-making. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. 
Hasn't been his best this quarter. The beast passes to Lamb. Monk with the ball. Charlotte moving it around. Let's it go from deep. Traps in the tray. And, and Monk's just got a good feel for kind of how to exploit the defense, especially about how quickly he gets his shot off after getting the pass. Now here's Irving. Pass to Horford. Hayward outside. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. In the corner, Irving with it. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got six assists now in the game. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Charlotte calls timeout. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, the Beast. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And the Hornets making a change here. Walker's checked in. Austin also with the sub. Smart's checked in. Here's the Beast. And Walker kicks to Monk. The Beast passes to Monk. Here's the Beast. Guarded by Horford. On it goes. Nice one there from the Beast. And they're really in a good position here thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basket. To the paint. Here's Irving. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Irving's got 13 points in the second half. Out left to the wing. And there's Monk on the assist by Walker. And it takes a lot to shake Monk off his game. Even if you surround him, he just seems to find a way to score. Now, here is Irving. Count that one. Irving's got 11 points in the quarter. Irving continues to bury big shot after big shot. He just has a knack for stepping up in crucial moments. There's the pass to Monk. The three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Still attacking. Building on this lead, coming down the stretch. But what I like about it most is he's doing it efficiently. Irving drives in. Shoots over Walker. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. Getting it done at the line as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Pass to the beast. And another one falls. Amazing. I mean, when have you seen a player get this hot in a playoff game? I don't know, GA. I know this, though. He now ranks third all-time for single-game scoring in the postseason. Simply stunning. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut back down to four with the May basket from Smart. Side, Batum. He kicks it to Williams. Pass to Monk. Here's the Beast, guarded by Horford. Here's the Beast. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. They're jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Not completely over, but it, it, it's getting close. Yeah, we, we know some crazy stuff happens out there, but everything would have to go their way to finish this off. Now, here is Irving. The kick out to Tatum. Horford with a screen on Williams. Tatum. It's good! And now they trail by just four. Well, amazing. So much talent for Tatum, but also that hit. Platoon passes to the Beast. And another one falls. And he's 
set a new all-time record for single-game scoring in the playoffs. I mean, what a night to remember. And for those of us who are lucky enough to witness it, I'm sure we will never forget this. for two yes and now they trail by just four come on Irvin is a terrific clutch shooter he welcomes any chance he can to see these type of shots he hits the first one and that puts them up by five second one is good bring both at the line and it's a six point ball game six seconds separating the shot and game clocks time call here the Celtics decide to talk it over they're down by six. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On defense, Charlotte launches it. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And you got to admire Irving in these situations. Doesn't let pressure overwhelm him. In fact, he embraces it. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Bring both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And they get what they want out of that trip. Uh, you know, now with two possession game. Smart on the wing. Tatum, that's for two. Misses the chippy right there. And now we've got the intentional foul. throw is good and that increases their lead to six he's off on the free throw unable to get that second one to drop in Horford kicks to smart no good on the three and so it's Charlotte with the win a pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time. They got a faster release though. Oh, is that? Yeah. I don't know. Debatable. <laughs>